just going to start the next topic. So Microsoft has um, announced, well, hasn't announced, but it's been rumored that Microsoft is interested in buying Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, which of course is on sale since, or rumored to be on sale rumored since AT&T sale, yeah. uh, bought it over and they're looking to kind of, AT&T, the mother company, they're looking to kind of do away with all this debt that they have by selling off uh, different things that they own. So um, yep. what would that mean? Because remember, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, they've put out Batman. They also are, are yes, Mortal Kombat. NetherRealm is under their umbrella. So, like, what could this mean for Microsoft if they were to put a bid, right? Because there are a few other companies like um, that are Activision, Blizzard is looking or rumored to buy. EA is rumored to look into buy WB. But what would this mean for Microsoft? Would that then give them the upper hand? I mean, it yeah, it depends if that's what you think. Well, games games alone will save the system, <laughs> really. Oh, Batman exclusive on Xbox would be huge. That would be like okay, Xbox is they're fighting now. Yeah. But I I don't. But you know what? People people mentioned this. I was streaming the other day, and people mentioned it in my chat. And I think the more that I think about it, the more that it, it's a good point. Is even if they did get WBIE, would they make Batman exclusive? Well, like, would but they would they even that? be able to make Batman? Because the thing is, now with That's all those point. superhero like DC um, franchises that they have, uh, Warner Brother has those are licensed. So Warner Brother doesn't own them. So technically, then um, Warner Brother would have or. Warner Brother, whoever buys them, would have to make a deal to renew the licensing with those studios. So, like, that could, it could be a really risky um, buy if Microsoft were to do that. Because I would say, like, yes, Mortal Kombat is definitely one of those franchises you would want to own um, just because the scene is very rich um, and they put out really great games. Uh, Batman would be another one, Middle Earth, maybe. Um, but if you don't oh, know yeah. if you're going to be able to put out a Batman game, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, if they listen, it, it is really all a matter of if, right? So, like, if we're talking Dreamland scenario, Xbox or Microsoft buys out mm -hmm. Warner Brothers games and they get the IPs, they get Batman, they get Mortal Kombat. First of all, the, the, the upcoming Batman game that we all know is happening. Yeah, the just Court waiting of Owls for a game, yeah. Uh, that probably won't be console exclusive. Too much development has gone into it for it to be a console exclusive at this point. Um, but like, if they got the next one, if they got Rocksteady's next game mm -hmm. exclusive, if they got, um, you know, imagine a scenario. Again, this is just Dreamland, Killer Instinct versus yes. Mortal Kombat, a full on like crazy crossover game. If they if they were to get these properties, this is stuff that if Microsoft, if Phil Spencer is smart. They have to be thinking about it. They have to be. Unless yeah. they truly, like Brody said, just do not care about winning the console generation and just want to get games in people's hands, then okay. But I don't know. It would be interesting to see the competition. It would be it would be like watching a crazy UFC fight. You, you're seeing two titans go at it with these massive properties on both consoles. You know, PlayStation with Spider-Man, Xbox with Batman. It would be pretty cool to see. I don't know if it would be the most consumer-friendly thing. Yeah. But... I don't, I don't know. That's, and that's a and that's a huge if too. Like even if Microsoft were to buy it, would they want would it be smart for them to make those games first party, right? Um exclusives, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't know if that would be and if what with Brody, what he's saying, how Microsoft is understanding they need to diversify they may not want to and instead just release it on PC, like have them so they're available on PC and Xbox, so they're not necessarily console exclusives. Um, mm. And then, you know, maybe it's like a, a delayed exclusive. So they come out the following year. But I, I find it so interesting that this could actually change even with the sale of Warner Brothers, whoever buys it. Warner Brothers, they have all those titles that are deep rooted into like movies. So you have all the Lego titles, right? that has yeah. Star Wars, Harry Potter, and those perform really well. Will we keep seeing them? Who knows? That's if if whoever buys them feels the need that they need to continue with that. It would be money lost. I don't know. It'll be interesting to watch this one. I want to go back to Stealth's question, though, and I, I want to ask Alex, because, like, there's actually a unique yes. angle on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just sitting here, like, just soaking it in. <laughs> you know, when Xbox was coming, it's like, what is there anything that would make you be like, oh, now I need to get an Xbox? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it like any, any tech? League of like, Legends on Xbox? <laughs> 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 I, would buy, 
full dive VR or like something crazy. You know, remember they had that projection thing that projects part of the game onto your room? Kind of like, is there any kind of tech that could even like remotely make you say, you know what, I should get an Xbox this generation? Honestly, no. Um, something I was going to say is like listening to you guys talk about all this stuff and also just in general being a gamer for years and, you know, watching E3 and seeing all like the news come out for whatever new console is, it always kind of felt like. Xbox like made its case like so many years ago as like the multiplayer console and you know if you want to play with your friends like like I said since I didn't have an Xbox since high school I kind of feel like at, at least to me it feels like that was where the peak of Xbox was and then the years forward um, it, it just seemed like Microsoft wanted to keep coming out with the Xbox like just to say oh yeah we have a console too here it is mm -hmm. and it kind of seems like that's all they're really floating on. It, it does also seem like they're looking into other things, like like you said, with the with the buying out Warner Brothers potentially, and then I mean they tried out Mixer, and then it kind of seemed like it just seems like they are making all their decisions just kind of on the go. They don't necessarily seem to care that much for their console, and they just want to find something. And I don't know if it, it doesn't even seem like they want to hold on to it, like you know, in Mixer's case. So, yeah. yeah, it just seems like they're you, just putting things out. You know what? It is interesting, though, that you bring up Mixer. And um, and if everyone and if anyone remembers, you know, there was a stories about the Microsoft stores being closed down around the world. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because they're reeling in a couple of those assets, a couple of things that they were pumping money out to. And obviously, like, I, I'm trying to speak about this in the least insensitive way possible, because I feel for all the streamers on Mixer and the situation right. that they're going through. That's rough. Hate that they have to go through that. And to anybody who was employed working for Microsoft, that's Microsoft stores, to know that they're potentially losing a job, that's rough. Um, so not to sound insensitive, but mm. just to speak on the general topic, them reeling that stuff in, not putting money out for those kind of things. Could they be trying to like save money? Could they try to be like, okay, hold on, let's not spend so much on Mixer <laughs> or these Microsoft stores so that we can get that $4 billion acquisition of Warner Brothers games, you know, like you, you got to wonder what could be the overall reason. I mean, a lot of it could also just do with maybe the general success of Mixer, maybe not being as big as they were hoping. And the Microsoft store, I don't know, like for me, whenever I was in a mall, like I would just walk in the Microsoft store. I wouldn't necessarily go there to buy something. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that that's a part of it too. But I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting to bring up. Um, Dope Spill Gaming says that Microsoft is just now trying to fix all of their past mistakes. And you see this with other um, consoles as well, like Nintendo, God, Wii U, horrible. But I think the difference is um, they, they are taking that risk, but it's not the only thing that they're invested in. Like Nintendo's able to take that risk because they have, you know, the Legend of Zelda, they have the Mario games, they have their first person Pub, like games that they publish that they know they could rely on um so if they take a chance on a console um if it is you know having motion control or having a screen a switch like a display between the tv and portable right um they're able to take a little bit of risk because they built that name and unfortunately in the earlier days of microsoft and xbox with the release of halo one um gears like they were building that name but it got lost along the way so it'll be interesting to see what they could pull out of their pockets to really um strengthen their name amongst all gamers yep yeah yeah i, I think i think they just kind of failed to build their like cult following like mm -hmm. over the years like with their exclusive titles um, because yeah, uh, Switch, this Nintendo in general, and Sony—they just have so many like solid titles that you you know you want to get those consoles for. With Xbox, I can't really think of anything except for again <laughs> to go back like to my high school days when I played Left 4 Dead, <laughs> and that was about it. Yeah, the only thing I could see them like doing for it if they if they really still cared and dived. I'm <clears throat> excuse me, I'm under the impression that they really aren't worried about winning the console. War, yeah. right? I'm really under that impression. Um, but if they are in any way wanting to grab certain part, like that would be their goal is to grab certain niche demographics, you know, grab, you know, uh, be a part of the FGC, be a part of, you know, the shooter, you know, find niche or indie area, although Sony's got that down on lockdown too, but like try to find niche areas that you can take over and at least try to just make sure you're coming out even. Um, but like all those games, again, I, I feel like they're, they're going to try to go for the approach that you can also play it on PC. So um, I, I think it's just create as many avenues as possible for people to pay, um, 
to play your games. And I think that's why they want something like uh, WB, because now they have more games that they can then put anywhere for people to buy. So uh, it's going to be important for them to have games. I just don't think they care about the console market. Yeah. That, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely diversifying. All right. <laughs>